Good morning, YouTube. Um, it is Monday, uh, the 28th of March. It's the weekend, the Monday after the weekend of the show. Um, something weird is on my camera and I don't understand it. Anyways, I, um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good and I'm feeling happy and I'm feeling free and I feel like, well, what do I do with myself? <laughs> you know, I, um, I'm like, do I go work out? Do I, no, Katie, you do whatever the fuck you want to do, which is weird. It's weird not like having structure. Um, I'll find my own rhythm again, I'm sure. You guys, stop it. I'll write myself a program. Um, I'm thinking about writing myself like my own 12 week program and putting that in, if I like the results I get from it, then I will um, put it on my website along with my other programs that I already have. Um, I think that I'm just gonna start doing that. Anyhow, um, so yeah, so this morning I just woke up, I had some pancakes and I start my reverse diet today. Um, I kind of already failed on it. I had a brownie, <laughs> but I'm like, you know what, whatever. And then I threw the box of the brownies away, so. But I'm not beating myself up over it. It's like, it is what it is. So I am gonna go to the store right now and go get a, um, gr I'm gonna show you guys a whole grocery haul on flexible dieting and like what I'm gonna do with everything that I buy. My husband and I ordered Chinese food last night and we, uh, we drank some wine and watched a movie and it was really, really nice. I didn't even, today I'm hella bloated and I don't look great, but you know what? I don't fucking care. <laughs> I'll look fine in a couple days when the bloat's off and I've been sticking to my macros for a couple days. You know what I mean? I'm not worried about it. I'm not gonna stress about those things anymore at all. Um, I love my body and to be quite honest with you, um, Getting second call outs, I started to, and open, I started to like doubt myself a little bit and doubt my body a little bit. I found myself like questioning myself, like it was like it rocked my self esteem a little bit. And I was like, how stupid, you know? I love, I freaking seriously love my body. And, uh, and I started to like notice myself picking myself apart after I got off the stage for open, like, oh, I got second call outs. Well, God, my hamstrings aren't big enough, and I should have had a smaller waist, and this and that. I shouldn't be thinking those thoughts because I love my body, and I am thicker waisted than those bikini. Those bikini girls have 23, 24 inch waists. I sit naturally around like a 27, 28 inch waist. I'm just wide. I did a lot of deadlifts when I first started out. I did a lot of like compound movements and and um, I train like a man and I fucking got really thick from it and and I'm okay with it. I have a very athletic build. I am i don't want like this little teeny squeam waist, like, you know, and I shouldn't question whether or not, um, whether or not I love my, I love my body and I don't need like a panel of judges to let me, to make me question that, you know, so. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, I'm gonna go to the store and I'll show you guys what I get got when I get back. Okay. Hello, I'm back from the store. Oh my gosh, you guys, I did some damage. Um, look. Holy moly. I seriously spent like $300. Okay, so I just went grocery shopping and I am gonna go show you guys everything I got. I set it all up, I set it I, it's a huge grocery haul just because mm. I literally have not um, gone grocery shopping since like fucking last year, last summer. <laughs> I'm serious because I've been on prep since then. Not only was I on prep um, since September, September of 2015, but after my show in November, I had to prep for a f two photo shoots, the LA Fit Expo, and then I got right back into prep for this last show. So I really have not had any time off at all um so that's why i'm just like dying i just need i need life so um so how i normally start uh my grocery list i guess uh is 
Pinterest. I basically go on Pinterest and I save um, my ideas for the week and I take the pretty much what I need from each of those ideas and that makes my makes up my grocery list. Um, I just kind of like I plan on making some um, some like flatbread like pizzas, some flatbread uh, like tostada type of Mexican meals and um, so you know I just got everything basic I'll go in there and show you but basically it starts with Pinterest um, I write every I save the the recipes that I want and then from those recipes it makes my grocery list boom so here, I'm gonna start with this stuff this is kind of stuff that um, is going to go in our cupboard, uh, you know, I have Terry low sodium. This is literally guys. I've showed this before, but this is the best teriyaki Sauce ever um, Then here's my dressings that I'll utilize. I'm gonna make a barbecue ranch chicken pizza later in the week This is just to have it's all fat free um, Here's pizza sauce Sprinkles because you gotta have sprinkles. Uh, sugar free barbecue sauce. This stuff only has two carbs in it two carbs, zero sugar, zero fat. Can you believe that? It's called G Hughes. All right, ketchup, reduced sugar ketchup, mustard low sodium taco seasoning. These jellos, I'm going to just put these in like my um, in Greek yogurt. You can put it in different like macro friendly dessert recipes and I'll show you that when I make them. Um, I love putting diced green chilies in everything. I put it in chick my shredded chicken in the crock pot. I put it in um, on pizzas. I put it on everything. Uh, chopped olives because I love black chopped olives. Uh, this is no fat uh, refried beans. Um, I will sh be showing you recipes. I'm going to be making like tostada type of flatbread recipes um, and other things. Uh, here's enchilada sauce. I just got these to have them in the cupboard, different enchilada sauces. Oh, there's diced rotel tomatoes. Um, just to have in my cupboard because I haven't stocked my cupboard up in a long time. Now I'm gonna go over here. Don't look at my messy kitchen. Um, got some chicken. I'm gonna put that in the crock pot and shred it. Uh, here is ground turkey. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Here is fresh basil for cooking. I'm gonna be putting this on pizzas and in probably zoodles with spaghetti and sauce and whatnot. Um, here's sweet potatoes. I'll probably use these just for dinners and I like to put, um, I like to bake them at 400 for like 450 actually for like 45 minutes and then I put, then they're all mashed up and I put peanut butter on them. So I'll probably have those at dinner time. Um, ground bison, I'm probably just gonna saute this, cook it for my husband's lunches. I'll probably you, uh, be doing spaghetti with zoodles and bison um, and different things with that. Egg whites, of course. And then over here, then we'll, here's some uh, red butter lettuce and I will use that to wrap in hamburgers that we have at night or sandwiches. Um, or like, I don't know, like little lettuce cups, whatever I decide to make for dinners. Um, there's going to be so many videos, you guys. I'm so excited to show you everything. It's onions. I got these just for cooking, just to add flavor. Mushrooms to add to recipes. Strawberries, eggs, bananas, raspberries, cherry tomatoes baby gold tomatoes and spinach. I'll be putting this in omelets every morning, uh, maybe juicing with it. Um, I'm really, really excited to have fruit back in my diet, you guys. It just makes me feel healthy. It makes, it just, it makes me feel good and it helps me not binge. It helps like my sweet tooth and whatnot. Some veggies. Um, I also have some like Brussels sprouts and asparagus in the fridge, but 
I got a lot of um, zucchini because I'm gonna, zucchini is so versatile and I'm going to be uh, making a lot of spaghetti, a lot of zoodles, a lot of like um, shrimp stir fries using zoodles and whatnot. So I always get a lot of that. Um, I made a little Trader Joe's stop too. With, I got some fire roasted and balsamic butter sauce vegetables. I thought that sounded really good and for like a dinner. And that's the macros, not too bad. Five carbs, five fats per half cup. Arnold, leave your sister alone. Leave her alone. Okay, and then, of course, some organic um, cauliflower rice. I'm going to be making um, probably egg fried rice. Uh, I'm probably going to try and do some mashed potatoes. I've never made those, so I'm going to attempt, I think. Um, I got two different lavash breads. This one's garlic olive oil garlic. I got this one at Safeway and then I got this wheat, whole wheat one at Trader Joe's. I'm going to be making pizzas, tostada uh, dinners. Um, the possibilities are freaking endless with lavash bread. So I will be making a lot, a lot of recipes. You can make quesadillas, tons of stuff. Um, this is low carb flaxseed bread. This is my favorite bread to get and sometimes they have it at Safeway and sometimes they don't but they always have it at Trader Joe's in my experience. Um, the macros on it are amazing. They for two slices it's only 18 carbs, one fat, seven protein. So usually for one slice it's 18 carbs but you get two slices for that much with this and it's good. It tastes good. It's not all thin and flimsy. It it's my fave. Yep. All right, you guys are killing me. Please stop. Behave yourself. So now I kind of um, separated this section into my flexible dieting section. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited for this. Um, okay, so I decided to try cashew milk this time. I always usually do unsweetened vanilla almond milk, but everybody says the consistency of this is way better. It's got the same macros and it's just, um, yeah, I've just heard it's better, so I'm gonna try it out. The macros on that, two fats, one carb for one cup. All right, so here are the nut butters that I got. White chocolate, wonderful. This one's kind of high in sugar, but um, um, I think that that is part of the problem with my, my binging is that I do too many, like I, I make foods good and bad, you know what I mean? Like I worry about things like sugar content, sodium levels and all this stuff and I obsess over all those things and so I've decided that after this prep I decided that I'm not, I'm not doing good and bad anymore. I'm just, um, if it fits my macros, that's what I'm doing. I'm having a good balance of my fruits and my vegetables and my fun foods and everything. So, um, I'm going to live my life and I'm going to enjoy it and I'm not going to live it so stressed out over being under 20 grams of sugar every day. I'm just not, I'm not going to do it. It's just, life is too fucking short. Um, so, okay. So... Here's all my nut butters. This one is so amazing, you guys. I put that on top of my pancakes. And this one is equally as amazing. The salted caramel Skippy. Um, low in sugar. Lower in sugar than this one. But I put these on my pancakes and it's like heaven. Same with this. This Jif Whips. I got two kind of peanut butters. My husband likes this one. It's more natural. Only one sugar. Um, God, I need to stop saying that. <laughs> I'm not caring about that, but this GIF, I mean, this one's obviously not going to be as good for you as this one, but um, this GIF Whips is so amazing. Um, I got this peanut butter Captain Crunch because I have not gotten to have cereal in, I can't even remember, years, and I'm really excited, and it's not even, I'll probably put it on top of um, like my Greek yogurt at night and have like a flex bowl, a macro bowl. Um, and then I'll probably like take these, I'll probably take these, uh, rice cakes and like crumble them on top too. It'll be fun. So, oh my God, look, you guys, 
I got coffee creamer. I'm so excited to have this back in my life. It's sugar-free. I haven't tasted this uh, Italian sweet cream yet, but they didn't have many sugar-free options. Um, so that one only has two carbs and one fat. Oh my God, I gotta get rid of these dogs. They are driving me nuts. They're driving me nuts. You guys, look it, I'm gonna lock them out. They just went outside. They're out of here, I'm locking them out. Perfect. God damn it. Yep. Yep, that's what happens, fucker. Okay. So, coffee creamer, got that. These are my favorite protein bars currently. These are the Power Crunch, the peanut butter, and the French vanilla cream are my favorites. This one only has eight carbs, you guys. Really good macros. Has It kind of has higher fats, but you kind of sacrifice that for the carbs. Oh my God, it has 13 fats, eight carbs, 13 protein. Um, oh, and freaking put a little layer of peanut butter on top of that. It's life-changing. So then I got these, and I'll probably put these in my pancakes. These are my favorites. Um, I'll probably put these in my pancakes and bake with them. I'm going to make, I'm going to start making like um, muffins and uh, macro-friendly baking goods and stuff. Okay, so I had to get the rice aroni, you guys. I love Love, love, love rice -aroni. I don't know why it's so fucking gross, but it's so good at the same time. Ugh, I didn't get the ones I really wanted, like the, the cheddar and the, the au gratin ones and all the fatty, fatty ones because the, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to fit those into my macros, but these ones were pretty macro friendly. Um, for the Mexican style, it's 40... For two ounces, you, it's 40 carbs, only one fat. The other ones were really like high in fat, so that wouldn't have worked. But I got the Mexican style and the chicken and broccoli. And I haven't had rice in like three years. <laughs> so I'm bringing it back. It's not the healthiest thing in the world, but it makes me happy and that's all that matters. What else? So these low carb tortillas are fucking awesome. They have so much fiber. They have... um. 12 grams of fiber, only one sugar, 18 grams of carbs. So they're lower in carb, higher in fiber, pretty, pretty good on fat, three fats. And these ones are the bigger ones. They do have smaller ones as well, but these are the best tortillas. And then I like the Alfresco brand. The Alfresco brand always does good with macros. They are always pretty low in fats. So for this, it's a bigger sausage. Um, Seven fats, three carb. I don't know why my camera won't focus, you guys. And 15 protein. So 15 protein for one of these. So it's a really good breakfast option if you're in a hurry or whatever. And then I got turkey bacon to Ginio. That's my fave. And then I finally am going to try. I have not ever had this, and everybody talks about it. So I'm going to have this these feta fat-free feta crumbles. I'm going to put these on top of um, a pizza with chicken and ranch and bacon. And um, what else am I going to do with them? I'm going to make meatballs with them. And you, yeah, okay, enough of that. Okay, and then here is cottage cheese. I haven't had cottage cheese since I was a little kid, but I'm thinking it's a good way to get protein in in the morning or I can have it at night right before bed. I've heard from like bodybuilders and whatnot that cottage cheese is really good before bed. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's a myth or not, but it only has six carbs in it and 13 grams of protein for a half cup, you know? So I figure I could put just, I could put this and some fruit in a bowl and maybe half this and half of the Greek yogurt and that would totally satisfy me at night and it won't, it's not like the worst thing in the world. It's not like eating like donuts at night, you know what I mean? Like it, it still will, it'll make me happy, it'll satisfy a craving and, and it's not that bad. And then what else? We have, oh, Parmesan cheese. My husband likes Parmesan cheese. I kind of got this for him. But um, 
I couldn't find any fat free, which I wish I could have, but whatever. But we'll put this on top of zoodles with spaghetti and whatnot. Do you hear the dogs are trying to get in? And then um, this pepperoni, you can put this in salads, you can put this on pizza, you can really do a lot with the pepperoni. You can even just bake it and like eat it as a snack, I don't know, whatever. And then these are for pizzas and whatever else I want cheese on. Yeah, so, so that is everything and that's my grocery haul. I don't really know what else to say. Um, from here on out, I'll probably have a video on like certain recipes that I do, like how to make um, my Mexican tostada flatbread pizza tostada thing that I'm gonna make. Like, I'll probably just start doing videos like that too. Um, and help with, with, you know, ideas for you guys and whatnot. And yeah, so that's my grocery haul. Thanks for watching. And please like my video and subscribe to my channel. And let me know what you guys want from me down below. And yeah, that is it. All right. Have a good day.